Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Wealth Wednesday with Mikkel. Today, on Scripted, on top of the dome. What I want to talk about today is basically showing up for yourself and getting out. Number one, starting off with showing up for yourself. In this day and age, a lot of us, we show up for work, we show up for everybody else but ourselves. It's that time to take that leap, stand up for yourself, and go after your dreams or goals. Because if you don't, you're gonna leave them behind when you die. And that is something horrible. I would hate to, I mean, just thinking about that personally, letting your dreams die with you, uh, that ain't about it. So if you guys get a chance to go for what you want, do it. I know I kind of spoke on this subject, but you can take the showing up for yourself however you like. Um, you know, pretty much it. Now, when I talk about get out, what do I mean by that? Get out of your own head, for starters. We are our biggest critics. Once you get out of your own head, you'll be able to push forward. And once you push forward, you'll be able to accomplish all that you set your mind to. And also, don't be afraid to hit up that YouTube university. What I mean by that is if you're looking to accomplish something, let's say detail cars, you've got hours upon hours of other detailers going over detail of what they do so you can learn. YouTube University is the best university because it's free. Another thing when I say get out, I'm gonna be a little bit touchy on this is with relationships and basically your home city. Get out if you get a chance. Get out of your hometown. Get out of what you hate. I don't know if many of you have, I guess, high school friends you stay in contact with, but you ever notice how it's like three, four, five years later, there's always that one person complaining about their hometown, but they never moved out. Now, a touchy subject on dating. You're not stuck to your hometown. You can go out. All of us, we know, most people have a preference in cars. Most people have a preference in certain brands of shoes, purses, etc. So it wouldn't really be beyond, be beyond human's nature to be specific on what they like. Let's say, for example, Tiffany loves blonde hair, blue guy, blue eyes guys, whereas um, Mary over here loves brown eyes, black hair guys. We all have something we like, and I'm pretty sure as men, we do it too. We all have certain tastes. So if you're not having luck in your hometown with, let's say, dating somebody, GTFOH, get the F out of here. Nothing's holding you back. And if your city is that bad with women or men that you complain about, get out. You never know what's laying around that corner. And if you actually pay attention to where you're at and how people live their lives, it's an invaluable lesson. Um, I was talking to my buddy. He got kind of upset because I told him, you know, I would rather have a conversation with somebody that's lived somewhere for a year or so as opposed to a college student that's graduated or whatever reason being is if you lived somewhere else you're going to pick up how they live in society and you can compare apples to apples at that point a lot of people just see the way europe africa u.s japan china whatever's living and they just regurgitate what they hear on the internet and not really through experience. It's a learning process in its own. So yes, feel free to get out, refresh your mindset. You're not essentially starting over with nothing. The beauty of, let's say you're 30 years old and you decide to move to, let's say London. You're not starting with nothing. You have understanding of credit. You have understanding of what you want to do in life better than you did in your 20s. You're in an overall better position, hopefully physically, because you know, once you hit 30, we all start breaking down. But 
you know what I mean? You have those experience to roll forward with, and that could be invaluable. Never, ever, ever sleep on the chance of being able to hit the reset button, live in another country, another state, and understanding what you need to do from your mistakes in your 20s. But that's pretty much it, guys. I don't have much else to say. Again, I didn't script this out, so hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll be back next next week. Um, right now, I'm about to do some car stuff finally. So speaking of showing up for yourself, I am going to get off my rear end, dedicate some time. To, as you notice, I've been growing my hair out. I've cut out my brush hours for the waves and I'm going to be putting that hour of brushing and hair care and all that good stuff towards the car stuff. I know an hour doesn't seem like a whole lot, but it's better than being complacent, making a cup of tea, relaxing with my wife, watching TV, Netflix, whatever it is, unless we have a movie night. So in a sense, I'm going through it too. So let's show up for ourselves. Let's let us know we love ourselves. And bonus tip to all my men out there. Chin up, shoulders back, confidence. People used to ask me back in high school, hey, Mikkel, what's wrong with you? You know, how come you don't say hi to us down here? I'm like, I make eye contact with the other side of the hall. I don't look down. I just look forward. I'm not trying to ignore you. I'm just getting the class. So mind your business. Others will feel it some type of way. But if they're on your friends list, just let them know, hey, I'm going from point A to point B. I'm on a mission. Let me know what you need once I get there. Peace.